Hello, this is Sword of Mana, and welcome back to the Mithril Mine. Last time... Well, last time we checked out the abandoned mine of Watts here. This time, well, we're probably about to fight a huge, giant monster. Spoiler alert. Hey, a Mithril Lord! I finally found it! Amazing! Except, we can make loads of weapon with this much mithril. Loads and loads! Um... Wow. I gotta admit, that does look a lot like a lot. What it does not look like is... Metal. It is not, clearly not an ore. Ag-heg my servant? Who? What? That's, that's what I want to know, and if straight through that vein is going to be a monster. Or not. This is going to be a thing where it digs through the ground, it- oh yeah. Um... I'm thinking bow. Wow, okay, this- this- this kind of sucks. Although it is great for leveling up my bow skill, apparently, because that's per hit. Oh, and, and it's underground. Haha! I oh, that's that's that doesn't work. Okay. Also, I actually want salamander. That was a mistake. I do not mind saying it. Okay, where is- don't go into the freaking wall again! Hit it! Wow, okay. Wait, can I hit the tail? I can! Okay, its weak spot was was its tail, apparently. That's a little weird, but you know it. W I won't question it. It worked. That was the best fight in years. Um. Yeah. Well. Good for you. Or not. What I'm trying to say is stop being a spoil sport hero. Now we can get the Mithril without any trouble! Okay, let's get to work! Oh, it's the freaking... Oh. Okay, that is actually useful. That's what I want to know! What was the voice? Why did it want to stop us from getting a Mithril? Yippee! Hooray! Sorry I didn't go to help ya. You a friend in need. I'm such a coward. Thanks a bunch for rescuing Watts. I mean, I'm pretty sure I did most of the work, but I won't deny that you did help go get through the dungeon. Now we can go back and get Mithril safely! Yep. I mean, again, it was mostly me, really, but... I will admit, he helped. What a blessing! Now we can make even more weapons for the re um... Right. Arm stealers. Oi. Yeah, we do! Why? What's wrong? Yep, that they are. <laughs> They're immoral dicks. Wow. 
Your weapons are being used to kill innocent people. Do you want to sell weapons to people who do that? Well, they're arms dealers, so... Th As you can see, other than mine and all, we don't get out that much. We don't know about the outside world. We make our living making good weapons for people to use. Are you criticizing our way of life? Um... Maybe. Anyway, Watts, can I have my share of the mithril? I have to go to Gaia Cave. Sure then, partner. I figured you would. Take all you want. Yep. Hey, Arrow, tell me something. Weepons are for fighting. You guys use them, and those of us who make them don't know how. You've got a weapon. What do you use it for? Uh, killing monsters mostly. Uh, I'd say that's a fairly safe hunch, actually. S uh, we being you and. I mean, the monsters, for the most part, do attack you, so... My friend Elena. I would draw my sword to save her. And kill the monsters. Yep, I like you. I'm gonna make you an Ultra Sword. Who is this swordsman? Can a dwarf break his promise? You did! You did! Not necessarily. He probably has enough mithril to make more than one sword. Shut up! Just like the sword of mana picks its user, I'm gonna pick the folks I sell to! I got a feeling I can trust you with an ultra sword. Will you take it? In diddly do. If I make you the sword, I'll need a place to walk in raw materials. Oh, that cactus! Inside is a blacksmith's room where I can work! I finally have a blacksmith in the cactus? Custom orders and repairs! Just you wait and see. Okay, I was going to go straight to the, um, the, uh, Gaia Cave, but I feel this bears investigation now. Uh, no. <laughs> Are they? Anyway, I need to go track down that cactus. In fact... I think I'll meet you at the cactus to save a little bit of time. So, see you there. And we have arrived. So I need to go in there, but first... But first, I actually have some seeds to drop off. One, two, three, four, five... Actually, I have three sets. Okay, let's combine big and small. Seems like an obvious combination. But, okay, let's do oblong and flat. Let's, let's do big and small. And the leftovers, round and long. Hmm. And then let's go talk to Watts. Aha! We have a blacksmith! Hmm, temper. Rework with other materials? So... That's interesting. That's very interesting. Okay, let's um... Okay, I only have one fish scale. Is that enough? 
This makes it weaker, but it gives it everything else. And it doubles the limit. On my bow, I could do the marble. Again, it gets weaker. Hmm. I mean, this thing is so weak, I don't really care if it gets any weaker. But at the same time... Okay, these seem to make the same weep on. That's called a snowman, and this is also called a snowman. Oh, or, or is that the effect? Yeah, that's the effect. Okay. So, what about my sword? I don't really want to weaken the power on my sword, though. I don't really like that. Hmm. I also seem to be losing the buff-ups I've done to it, which I don't really care for either. Hmm. What about my armor? I can make bone armor. Wow, that costs three animal bone. It would prevent sleep. Or I can do fish scales. Okay, both of these are... Actually, the fish scale armor is pretty good. <laughs> Makes me immune to water. Well, not immune, but highly resistant to it. It cures my defense a whole lot against everything. And increases the limit a bunch. This is a higher limit, but lower defenses. It does have that effect, but... Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this. I like it. Now, my helmet... I could have sworn my helmet had a thing on it. I could do that. That would be an improvement. Hmm. What about gloves? I can do animal hide or bronze. I'm not putting bronze on anything. I have too many things that use bronze. Um... That's a little bit lame. Not that cotton is really much better, in fairness, but... Okay. Okay. I think I'm just gonna finish this off by turning one of these things into something that does not use freaking bronze. Because because I want to try to save my bronze for my sword, and of course I actually can't because I can only do it with my freaking scale. Well, that's typical. Okay then. Bronze is officially reserved for the damn sword, though. Now then, let us harvest. Okay, um, boar melon. Octo... Or, really? Rocket papaya. Anywho, let's temper the sword some more! Woohoo! Like so. Wait, what? All of the things I have I can't put onto my Weepons? I don't have- all of those are fruit. So, armor only. Uh, wait, what? Yes? Yeah, all of them are fruit. Wow, okay. Mmm, this is defense and elemental defense. This is defense and defense. This is who knows! Okay, what was that thing I changed? The... my armor. I don't have any fish scales, so I can't do that. Okay, what about my... no, it's bronze. I do not have sandals. You, I do not have any oak wood, apparently. Also, bronze. Okay, I need, I'm actually gonna... I am going to forge my sandals, it seems. 
boots, whatever. That is, I don't think, I think that's a pretty objective loss, actually. How about my hat? Actually, what is my hat currently made out of? Not marble, that's for sure. Hmm. Sure. Well, actually, wait. I need to know what my current hat is actually made out of. My gloves are bronze, right? Okay, you know what? Back it up a sec. Back it up. I don't actually want wheat bonds. I want armor. Okay. My helmet is bronze. My gloves are oak, which is a little bit weird. And my boots are bronze. So, I want to do my boots and my helmet. Now that we've got that out of the way... Let's do the helmet. Because I had more options for that. No, I was mistaken. Let's do the boots. It's also marble, isn't it? Uh, no, I can do animal bone, actually. Which will make me lose the boost I got from that one fruit that I put onto my boots, of course. But, but, well, it does give me the no sleep effect, which is probably nice. But mostly, it gets it out of bronze. Which is really nice. Now you, on the other hand, this is a straight upgrade. And now that that's out of the way, let us... Um, what can I actually put stuff on? My hat? Not my hat. My boots. Okay. Defense and elemental defense. I really want to see what this does, but I want to put it on my chest. Okay. Okay. Mm. I'm thinking I'm going to put both of these on here. That seems ideal. Of course it's wood. Yeah. Okie dokie. Now that that's out of the way, that took a that took a while. Um. Now I just need to see what the cactus wrote. And I may as well tell you this right now. Between this episode and the next one, I'm planning on going into the town one more time to see if I can find someone to take that last freaking pamphlet. Because I really want to do that if I can. The chief snagged up a rail cart, and it got quickly rolling. Bumpity bump bump bump. Chief reckons changing tracks a pain and gets your black backside swollen. Bumpity bump bump bump. Okay, just the one, eh? Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave off here. So, join me next time when we enter the Gaia First Aid. Yeah, that's what it's called. Until then, this has been Sword of Mana Blind with Cast Blue, and have a good day. Bye!